Hi folks, in this microbiology video we are going to be talking about the microscope. Now whenever you come into lab you should always find your microscope on your desk with the cover in place. When you come up to your microscope you're going to want to pull off the cover, gently fold it up, and put it down underneath your desk for the remainder of the lab period until the end when you're done using your microscope. When you're working with your microscope, first thing first, you always want to make sure that you never scoot the scope across the table. The microscope has a bunch of carefully placed lenses that if it scoots across this counter surface, the microscope will vibrate and potentially knock those out of balance, and thus you won't be able to see any of your images clearly. The other thing you're going to want to notice as you come in to avoid that is that with the microscope we have the arm here and the base. Anytime you move your microscope you need to pick it up by the arm and the base. The other thing that you can do to help uh, change your view or if you're sharing your image with a neighbor you can turn the oculars here so that you can then look at the microscope from the side. Okay, So that is how you handle your microscope. After you pull your cover off, the next thing you're going to want to do is to plug your microscope in. You can see that the wire, the cord is wrapped around and the outlet is right here. Simply plug it in. All right. From that point on, you want to, depending on your microscope, find your light switch and turn on the light. You don't need a ton of light. The more light you have, you, you actually get a blurrier or less clear image. So the less light you can get by with, the better when using a microscope. Once you turn the light on, then you want to make sure that your knobs are working cleanly and there's no catches on the knob. And you want to make sure the mechanical stage is moving smoothly. The next thing you want to check is to make sure that the ocular lenses as well as the objective lenses and the stage light and the light source are clear of any debris. You will find one of these two types of lens papers in your assigned lab drawer where you can tear out a piece of lens paper. You have to take a full sheet, partial sheet, whatever you need. Take the, uh, the cleaner that you will find on your desk, spray it once, and in a circular motion, clean off both the oculars, the stage, and then each objective in descending order. The reason for this is you want to clean the oil immersion objective off last. And that'll make more sense when we get to that point in a moment. All right? The other thing you should notice whenever you come in and find your microscope, you should always make sure that you're starting with your objective lens on the 4X. It's the red uh, limbed objective. Okay? This 4X objective is there to magnify an image four times. The oculars are designed to magnify the image. 10 times. So if you're looking at a specimen on the stage through the 4x objective and the oculars, you are magnifying your image 40 times. We then have a 10x objective that you can get to just by rotating the nose piece. And when you rotate the nose piece, you'll notice there's a slight click. It sets into place. And you want to make sure it's clicked into place for imaging. If it's slightly ajar, you're not going to have light passing through very clearly, and you will see a black image, and then you'll raise your hand asking us why you can't see anything, and we'll come in, tweak it just a little bit, make sure it's set in place, and then you'll be like, well, I could have done that myself. Okay? So, once you lock in your 10x, now you can look through a 10x and your 10x oculars, and now you've magnified your image 100 times. Or, you can switch to the 40x, and then magnify your image 400 times. Now, the 4X, 10X, and 40X are all dry objectives, meaning that we do not use any liquids or oils with them for viewing. 
However, we do have a 100x objective that is an oil immersion only. If you do not use oil with this objective lens, you will not be able to see anything very clearly. All right? So, we will talk about how to use oil immersion in a little bit, but now you know the four di different objectives that you have on your microscope. Once you have your microscope plugged in, your light source turned on, we will then, if you have a specimen available, simply put your slide onto the stage. There's a metal latch spring here. Now, many old school microscopes that you might be familiar with from high school or another college, some of them were metal latches that you would lift up and set on top of your slide. That's a no-go here. We do not have those microscopes, uh, uh, mechanical stages here. The reason for that is these are simply spring-loaded and they are simply latch onto by putting a little bit of pressure from the side. If you try to lift up and set the slide underneath this, you're going to create unnecessary pressure, potentially bend this out of place so it's not useful anymore, and you'll notice that whenever you go to move the slide that your slide itself does not move as you adjust the stage. So make sure it's simply a pull back and a release. Okay. Next thing you want to do is adjust the stage so that the center of your specimen is right over the hole in the stage. The reason for that is the light is coming from the light source down here. It'll pass through an iris and then a condenser. Once it passes through there, it is focused on that specimen. And if the specimen is not over that point of focus, you're not going to see anything in that specimen. All right? So the way you begin viewing your image, viewing your specimen, is you start at 40x, or at 4x, make sure you have sufficient light, and your course objective is all the way down. In this case, counterclockwise, all right, the stage is all the way down, and you look for shades of color. If you don't see any shades of color, you might have to adjust your stage a little bit so that you're actually over your specimen. Sometimes you won't see any shades of color, so it's you have to kind of eyeball it, make sure you're somewhat in the middle. At that point, you simply slowly change the course, objection, course objective knob until you start to see color come into focus. And then once you get into focus, you stop. The only time you use the course objective knob is when you have the 4x objective in place. After that, you never touch the course objective knob again. All right? So, we kind of see our image in focus. Now we're going to fine tune that focus with the fine adjustment knob. It's on the side of the coarse adjustment knob. All right. So that fine adjustment knob, you rotate until you get a clearer image of your specimen. And sometimes it can be a little bit more than you expect, but keep going, you'll get a nice clean image. And then at that point, you get a nice big overview of what your specimen looks like. But in microbiology, we're going to be looking at small specimens, at bacteria. And so 4x is often not going to be sufficient. We're going to have to get closer. We're going to have to magnify our image. To do that, we have these objectives where we can simply rotate on the nose piece a new objective into place that magnifies our image. The nice thing about how these microscopes are set up is that these objectives are what we call par focal, meaning that what was in focus with our 4x is going to be in focus with our 10x. You do not have to significantly adjust your focus when you change an objective. So, once you have your 10x in place, simply look through the microscope and do a little bit of fine tuning to make sure that you have a clear image. But since we're working with bacteria, we're probably going to want our 40x more than our 10x even. So, simply rotate your 40x into place. And just like with going from the 4x to 10x, going from the 10x to the 40x, we don't have to adjust the stage. However, you'll notice the 40x gets really close to the slide. However, these microscopes are designed so that you do not have to adjust the stage. 
all right? If you adjust the stage and drop your stage, you're gonna get out of focus. And if you do that, then you're gonna to have to start all over. So if you look through the microscope, then you'll notice it's slightly blurry, so you do a little bit of fine tuning to find where you wanna be in your focal plane. Notice, I'm barely moving the fine adjustment knob. It doesn't take a whole lot if you've done things properly up to this point, okay? Now, again, we're working with bacteria. Some are super tiny. So you will have to go even further from the 40X and go all the way up to your 100X oil immersion. Now, again, just like before, you'll notice that the 100X does not collide with your slide. Do not drop your stage. You will lose focus and you'll have to start all over. When you do this though, you will look through and notice that your image is nowhere near as clear as it was, and when you try your fine fo focus, it still is blurry and you can't fix it. That's because the 100X is your oil immersion lens. That requires oil to be present to help further focus the light. And we can talk about that further if you want. But for the purpose of th this video, we're gonna move on. This is the oil immersion that you, the immersion oil that you will find on your desk. And in order to use this, all you have to do is simply rotate your objective nose pieces all the way back to the 4X. Again, do not move your stage. Get your fingers in here, all right? And simply drop one little bit of oil right in the middle on top of your sample. Anything more than that is excess. You only need the tiniest bit. And then with that little drop of oil, you will move your 100X into place and you will notice a sudden change in the light as that oil immersion lens makes contact with the oil. When you see that change in light coming through the stage, and you'll know it when you see it, you know that you have the oil where it should be and the objective lens in proper position. Then you can look through here, make your fine adjustments, and you're cooking with gas. Okay? So, now this is how you use the microscope. What do you do in between slides or when you're done using the microscope? When you're done with a given slide, the first thing you want to do is drop the stage all the way down using the course objective, uh, course adjustment knob. Turn the nose piece back to 4X. Remove your slide. And if you used oil, take one of your lens papers and simply clean it off. Once you get the excess off, you can come back in with a little bit of spray to finish cleaning off that slide. the same thing with your 100X. You come in and you clean off that objective. And you're going to come in with dry pieces of lens paper until you see it wipe clean. You do not want any oil left on this objective. If you leave oil behind, it will dry out cake on the lens and make it that much more difficult to see things the next time. Once you have your slide off, you can then restart the process of putting a new slide on and making your way through the 4X, 10X, 40X, and then even all the way up to the 100X once again. If you are done with your microscope, what you want to do is then turn off your light source completely unplug your microscope, rewrap the cord for the next person, 
come in behind you, get it secure as best you can, make sure the stage is all the way down, and then grab your cover that you put underneath your desk and simply get it put back on. At this point, you'll throw away your waste lens paper, get your lens paper booklets put back into your uh, lab drawer, and deal with slides as assigned.